ComicBookMovie.com was first to report on this, with several outlets now also reporting on the overwhelmingly positive response fans gave to a recent Suicide Squad test screening. Evidently, on Thursday night, May 19th, Warner Brothers held a secret fan screening to David Ayer's Suicide Squad at the Century 25 Union Landing Theater in Union City, California. Outside of this NorCal event, we know that the studio held an in-house screening several months back thanks to an interview by Entertainment Weekly with Ben Affleck. Published on March 3rd, Affleck was quoted as saying, I've seen Suicide Squad and I can tell you that movie really works. That movie is really, really cool and fun and awesome. Screen Crush reports that Warner Brothers has been planning on screening Suicide Squad late next week during MCM Comic Con in London. So at that point, we should be seeing more fan reactions coming in. However, I would advise everyone to be cautious because of some recent online fan reactions that proved inconsistent with general audience responses. In order from divisive to outright contradictory, those fan reactions included but are not limited to Batman v Superman, Green Lantern, and Fantastic Four. This is much needed good news for Warner Brothers, who has been under intense scrutiny of late over the direction and strategy for its DC films, and seemingly under fire online right now for its alienating of online critics, personalities, and fans with what some are calling unnecessarily aggressive, if not at times unfounded, copyright practices. Which quite frankly, this practice makes no business sense because going off of brand association theory and marketing, why would you want to instill a negative association to opinionated people who have loyal fan bases in the hundreds if not thousands if not hundreds of thousands in the age of social media and digital word of mouth? Warner Brothers may have taken a page from Marvel by creating DC films, but it's now apparent that it needs to take another page from Marvel and Disney and cut it out with issuing copyright claims against its fan base. So although news of a Harley Quinn film being in development, Jeff Johns co-leading DC Films, and MovieWeb basically reporting on Suicide Squad 2 already being in development, this negative behavior with Warner Brothers is still outweighing the positives until we get something tangible to reassess and evaluate. Suicide Squad hits theaters on August 5th, and hey, check out the new DC logo going forward. Thanks to Movies.com for showing the transition, and you can check out this playlist here so that you can see a sequential account of what's been going on with the DCEU properties and the studio power structure. But this report is coming from my research, but more importantly, what are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.